Hi, it's Frank from Man Lake, and I'm back today to talk to you about what we need to be doing in May. Up here in the northeast part of the country, we're seeing big changes. We had hives that were just kind of idling along, coming into late winter, early spring. Now those hives are starting to take off. They're bringing in a lot of wet nectar. They're starting to raise a lot of brood. So the things we must do, typically for me, when I see dandelions starting to bloom and the bees are on those dandelions, I have to do some things with my colonies because they build up very quickly when the dandelions bloom. So what do we need to do? Number one, obviously we gotta go in and take a look, make sure everything's good, our queen is laying. We have to start prepping for managing swarms. Our bees, as a natural um, instinct, are gonna to wanna to cast off a swarm. We as beekeepers don't want that to happen. So what do we do? There's a few things we could do. Number one, we're gonna add, make sure we have enough space for them, but sometimes that doesn't even stop them from swarming. We've gotta mitigate that by maybe pulling off a nuke. So I typically will go through my colonies in the springtime, see what's looking very strong, see there's a lot of brood, and I have nuke boxes. Now this is a cardboard nuke box, it's temporary, doesn't matter, you can use a wooden nuke box. I'm gonna go into this colony, I'm going to reduce it. When I say reduce it, I'm going to pull frames and I'm going to take this down to about five frames of brood. That's all I want. No matter if I have a single deep or double deeps, five frames of brood, that's going to take that swarm pressure off of this colony. I'm going to put it in here and depending on what this colony looks like, if I've got enough drones and I look at the weather, the weather's going to be good, I will let these bees make their own queen. If the weather's not looking like it's going to be great in the next few weeks, it's going to be cold and rainy, I may purchase a queen. That's your option. You could do it either way. Let the bees do it. They'll always make a better queen than we can, or you can purchase one. Now, the other thing we want to do this time of year, once those dandelions bloom, that's kind of, the, to me, the start of the flow. So we want to put our equipment on to start making honey. So we're going to obviously... Use a queen excluder. I recommend using a queen excluder all the time for most people. You know, as you get into this more, you can maybe manage it so you don't use one. You know how to get it so the end of your flow, you have no brood up in the honey supers. But typically, I always run queen excluders because I don't have time to go back and forth. So I'm going to put my queen excluder on, and I'm going to super up whatever I need. I would like to give them a lot of space. I'll give them maybe two supers, three supers, and let them take off. Now, when we're managing this brood box, there are a lot of options we could do. You can run a single deep, a double deep. If you're running mediums, three mediums, two mediums. If you're running a single deep, there's ways to do that, which this is not the talk for that, but you've got to manage that. So you give them enough space, but, and they, you know, you make enough honey, but you don't want to constrict them too much into a single deep right before the flow, because they will swarm. So there's, there's videos out there on how to do that. But bottom line is, we're coming into a flow. Our bees are good. You might have done a mite treatment early, maybe not, but we want, the, we want to give those bees everything they need. So number one, they don't swarm, and number two, they start bringing in a lot of nectar, making us a lot of honey. That's what May is. Let's get on our bees and get them ready to go.